All right, so just a quick video to uh, demonstrate how quick and easy it can be to set up our new performance range of laser distance sensors. So miniaturized laser distance sensors with IR link and how easy it can be to set up via our sense control wireless app. So you can see the version and sensor I've got connected. The distance sensor is mounted here, my target mounted here and you can see the line beam spot just there and you can see we've got the sensor mounted roughly 170 something mil away so with my rule you can see it says 173 mil 172 mil from the front face there and the sensor is actually reading that's 172.3 millimeters away. So you've got a nice interface there showing you how uh, far away the sensor is. If I move the sensor closer, you can see there, I've got it around the 147 mil mark. You see there with my ruler behind that it is around that distance there. So quite an accurate signal you're getting here, even off a, a dark target on the distance that you've got away. And if I try and line this up now to around 120 mil by eye against the rule, you can see that we're getting a reading of 120.335 mil. So it's just wandering in the, in the microns range but very stable to two decimal places there, 120 mil output. So now just to show you how quick and easy it is to set up the sensor via the wireless app, quickly just click on the device settings, going to parameters. And so for example, if I wanted to uh, set up the physical digital output or assign it to uh, a distance rather than just switching for an alarm. I go to input output settings um, and change the switch from alarm to switch state. Click apply. Okay. If I go back now and if I set a distance, so SSC one configuration, set a set point and let's say, um, 130 mil, something like that, seeing as we're set up at 120 mil. Apply, so now that's set. If I go to now process data, you can see um, the output is currently on at 120 mil. If I now move the sensor back over 130 mil, you see the output goes off and of course you can switch the polarity again move it closer over uh, inside 130 mil the output switches to true outside of 130 mil switches to false you can also do other types of setup so if you want to um, set the analog range for example You can go to the analog output. You can set whether you want it to be four to 20 milliamps or two to 10 milliamps. You can set the minimum distance and maximum distances. So out of the box, it does 50 to 350 mil, but you can change that to whatever you want and also invert it or, uh, or keep it uh, not inverted as it is out of the box. So yeah, just a quite, quite neat and easy way to parameterize your sensor using our sense control app to do all the functions that you can with the OM20 and OM30 of analog output, setting the maximum and minimum, and also assigning the digital output to a certain distance. And of course I set it to point, but you can do window. Uh, I might just quickly do that for you now. So. 
if I go into the operation again, configuration. So change it to window mode, apply. If I set my set points to say, right, between 130 and 100 is okay but outside of those is not okay so 135 the output is false if I move it closer 120 is good and inside is false, true, false, so again 130 mil as we get to 130 mil inside so false it got to, goes to true so the output is on between 130 and 100 mil and now it's false all the way up until the dead zone. So again, further and further away, once I reach 100 mil over the output switches, and then all the way up to 130 mil, it's on. And then as soon as I go outside of 130 mil, the output is now off. So that's just how you set up a window mode. Of course, you can do a single point mode as well. So just to summarize, the Sense Control app and wireless uh, controller can be a great way of parameterizing uh, our miniaturized OM20, OM30 style sensors for easy setup of the analog output uh, and also the digital switch on board, uh, setting a range or setting a window or point mode on measurement output.